First at four, the closure of the Washington Bridge is impacting almost every facet of life in East Providence. Increased traffic, economic impacts, and even a toll taken on schools. 12 News reporter Jake Holter spoke with the principal of Sacred Heart School in East Providence about how things have changed since the bridge shut down. Jake? Well, Kim and Kayla, unfortunately, some of the changes have happened within the student body. The principal telling me this afternoon that since the bridge closure, Sacred Heart has lost a few students as parents felt they just couldn't do the commute anymore. As a private school, Sacred Heart teaches students from all across the state. But since the Washington Bridge closure, that has become a big issue. We have parents who are running late again because of the traffic. So it's, it's hitting us every which way. Emily De Silva is Sacred Heart's principal. She says about 10 to 15 kids are late to school every day since the bridge closure. If there's an accident on 195, forget it. Uh, they're already calling, saying they, they, um, they might be here in 20 minutes or they might be here in an hour. She says the school has been much more lenient on tardiness as they understand it can be out of the parents' control. Prior to the bridge, we would open the doors at 8 and at 8.15 we close the doors and anyone after 8.20 would be considered tardy. Now we look at the, look at the child, who it is, and we're like, oh, we know you're from, say, Pawtucket. It's like, oh, you know what, just get to class. And it's not just students impacted by the bridge. We're seeing many of our staffs are leaving their homes earlier. I have a couple of staff members who live in Massachusetts who are leaving almost an hour earliest to get here. I have other staff who do after school activities and they leave here at four but do not get home till seven sometimes and they're living in Lincoln and Smithfield. De Silva, like everyone else, hopes the bridge issue can be resolved as soon as possible for fear of losing more students or even teachers who are getting burned out by the commute. And coming up on 12 News at 5, you'll hear how the East Providence City Council is trying to get the state to help ease the burden the bridge closure has placed on the city. For now, reporting live in East Providence, Jake Holter, 12 News.